Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls. I love to mingle, though my husband reminds me I'm not single. I meet and greet both the famous and the elite. I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne, wearing first dazzling diamond jewelry. A girl can't complain. I live in upscale life. Dining in the finest restaurants, eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and I am here with the president, Bob Chaloner, right here at the Southampton Hospital. They are celebrating their 60th year. It's their Diamond Jubilee year. Is that true? It absolutely is true. 60 years. It's amazing. I think it's one amazing. of the longest running parties in the Hamptons. So. I think it is the longest running party. Now, it, it's an amazing event, and today is a very special event because you're honoring two very special families, two very special people. Tell my audience. We're honoring two families this year, uh, Bruce Mosler and his family and the Katsimatidis family. Both. Katsimatidis. Katsimatidis. That's, that's a, that's a wonderful name. It's, it's a, a little bit of a tongue twister. It's a wonderful name. Um, very, uh, very involved in charities all around the New York region, including our communities. And we're absolutely thrilled to be honoring both of them. For the Jenny and uh, John, the proceeds of the the event support our emergency services, the Jenny and John Paulson Emergency Room. That's correct. And I also was reading that not only does it uh, for the emergency room, but it's also a wonderful. You're also putting some of these proceeds towards um, the hospital for not just the emergency, but people that have accidents in the summer, like There's traumas in the no, summer. Yeah, our emergency room is uh, now has trauma designation. And we also, in the past year, we uh, developed a cardiac catheterization laboratory so that people who have heart attacks, we've got the ability to treat with a cardiac catheterization. And that's thanks to the generosity of our Audrey and Martin Gruss, who've been wonderful supporters as well. They are wonderful philanthropists, and the hospital is so special. Tell my audience, where can we go to find out more information about the Southampton Hospital? Right. You can get online, just search for Stony Brook Southampton Hospital, and our website is uh, stonybrooksouthampton.edu, and you can find all the information about the hospital. Bob, you're gorgeous. Give Thank me a you kiss. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here at the 60th anniversary of the Southampton Hospital Summer Party, their Diamond Jubilee. Keep watching, darlings. More interviews in the Hamptons. Pink champagne kisses.
Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we are here at the Southampton Hospital Summer Party. It's their 60th anniversary, their Diamond Jubilee, and I am here with one of the honorees, Mr. Bruce Mosler, and he is thrilled to be receiving this award tonight. Tell my audience, how many years have you been devoted and dedicated to this hospital? Gosh, I've been uh, living on the East End during the summers for now close to 40 years and been involved with the hospital for at least a decade. Uh, but I'm really thrilled that the hospital in the last really five years, but, but probably before that, has, has gone from strength to strength. It is today a tremendous critical care facility out here in the East End where we know we can get top-notch, best-in-class care and not have to go all the way into New York if something bad happens. I understand from reading the press releases, it's like a level three for trauma, for like trauma emergencies. Because, and it's the only one out here, out east. It's the only hospital that is equipped to have like a, a, like a room for trauma. That's right. That's, that's exactly right which means that they can treat almost anything that happens uh, to the human body. Uh, and and that's, that's a huge step up from where we were, as I mentioned, maybe five or ten years ago, in large part to incredible people like Jenny and John Paulson, the Shafaroffs, Howard Lauber. These are people who, they're the stars. Uh, the honorees tonight... You are a star yourself tonight. You should be... We're going to drink champagne and toast because you're getting this award. Let's toast. Let's let's drink, right? Thank you. Let's have a toast. Tell my audience, do you know where we can go to participate, to contribute, and support? Do you know the website? I don't have the website. I believe it's southhamptonhospital.org. You're exactly right. So that all your audience should go because it is the premier hospital on the East End, and its new affiliation with Stony Brook takes it to yet another level, and we keep moving from strength to strength. Congratulations. Hey, don't go away show. yet, don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here at the Southampton Hospital Summer Party. Keep watching, more interviews in the Hamptons. Big champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we are here at the Southampton Hospital Summer Party. And it's their 60th anniversary. It's a very special occasion. Tell my audience, John, why you are such a big supporter of this hospital. Why I live here a large portion of the year, and I think the Southampton people need a hospital that's uh, good for everyone. I want to make sure they have they have great doctors, but I want to also make sure that, that they have the money to buy the right equipment so they can have all the new, most modern equipment. And I think that's uh, very important to a community. Now, you brought your whole family tonight. Not just you, but everybody's been I don't need. I don't need another honorarium. I think it's my kids' turn, and I want to introduce my kids to the community. Fabulous. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here in the Hamptons. Keep watching. Pig Champagne Kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we are here at the 60th anniversary for the Southampton Hospital Summer Party. It's their Diamond Jubilee. And I am here talking to one of the past chairs. She's going to introduce herself to the camp. Laura LaFaro Freeman. Laura, tell my audience why this hospital is so special and why we should all support it. The hospital is very special because it provides service for all the residents of the East End from West Hampton, Quag, all the way to Montauk. And this includes summer residents, year-round residents, and the migrant workers that come here and work on the fields and we provide health care for every single one of them. Fabulous. Where can we go to support? Where can we go to contribute? And where can we go to participate? So please, we have many, southhampton.org, southhamptonhospital.org, would so welcome any contributions that you would want to make. 
And we've also developed, as you well know, the Jenny and John Paulson Emergency Center that actually provides probably full-time medical care for many people who don't have insurance. And so we never turn anyone away. And now we have the Audrey Gruse Center for heart and stroke. And, and you're a very good friend of hers yes, as well. Yes, and Audrey is the most wonderful human be being. Well, thank as you her so husband much is for talking to me. Thank you so much. Thank you for and we'll be a back in this. a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here at the Southampton Hospital Summer Party. Keep watching through Champagne Kisses. Hey, darlings, I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we are here at the Southampton Hospital summer party and we're drinking Bellini. he is a big supporter of tonight's event and he's going to explain why he supports this charity this cause and what's going on with Cipri Cipriani's right uh, something new is going on with Cipriani's tell my audience we sure are so we are now launching an off-premise catering division for Cipriani called Cipriani on location Essentially what we're doing is we're taking the service and food and quality product that everyone is familiar with in our venues, in our restaurants, and we're bringing that to your home. We're bringing that to galas. We are trying to work with amazing partnerships with Southampton Hospital, making the connections, bringing our product to you wherever you might be or would like to throw a party with us. Oh, I would love to throw a party with you guys. You look terrific. Uh, do you come along? Because you're very handsome, Always. by the way. Every time. <laughs> you're too cute. So is this your first time here at the Southampton Hospital? This is. You know, and we're very excited to be here for the first time. And well, hopefully this, is... this becomes a more and more frequent uh, occasion. Yes, and this is their 60th anniversary. Their it's a big one. Diamond Jubilee anniversary. And it's a very amazing a year for them for the hospital and it's all for a very good cause uh, for their um, I believe it's for their emergency mm -hmm, room mm -hmm. and two people are being on it tonight right. which I'm very excited about I hope to get a chance to interview them but I want you to tell my audience where we can learn more information about how we can use Cipriani's services absolutely so you can follow us either on Instagram, which is Cipriani on location. We can also go right onto our website, which is Cipriani.com. And you'll see that there's a link that will take you right to our new off-premise division. And we'll explain a little bit more in detail about our new division. Fabulous. Give yeah. me a kiss, mm -hmm. And let's toast. We'll do a little cheers. Salud. Salud. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews. Keep watching. Peace, champagne, kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the Cognac Show. I said, Cognac. Been a crybaby productions, darlings.